What is up heroes, this is Minate Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we completed the final B-side, Chapter 8. And in this episode, we're going to start off the C-sides. Um, you guys did mention the Golden Strawberries, and that uh, you get them, I think, from doing the levels Deathless. And there's apparently one Winged Gold Strawberry you can get for doing the first uh, chapter, the first part of the first chapter, without using any dashes. But apparently that requires some advanced mechanics I may not be ready for yet, so... So we'll hold off on those for now. Um, in the meantime, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna see how these seasides go. And oh man, oh man, I I hope I hope I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. That's all I have to say. Right off the bat, they already look that much more difficult. So I definitely have to dash up um, off of the platform and then dash to the right fall down, regain that, um, and I need to grab onto that platform without using my dash so that I can dash up and repeat the same thing. Okay. Okay, that was the right idea though, but <laughs> part of what I'm already seeing is going to be a problem is that I need to do it quickly so that I don't use a bunch of my stamina. What a start. <laughs> these sea sets are going to be tough, guys. Okay, so we've got these ice blocks. Oh my. Um, so we've got quite the long room here. So we're going to want to jump on this. And then... Looks like we're going to have to cling onto that side. Jump over on the other side, cling, and then jump onto this. Jump off here. And hope to land on that. Jump up, over, fall down, cling on the right side of that. Jump and then cling on the right side of that little spike block. Fly all the way over here, grab onto that, cling, and then fly up through that narrow gap. This, <clears throat> wow, this is literally like the second room of the first seaside. Oh, wow. Those fell a little bit more quickly than I was anticipating, but that's okay. No, oh, on the platform. Almost. This music is really good. Big fan. Oh, really? Darn. I tried to place myself right at the top there. Oh, why did I... Why did I do that? That's why I did that. <laughs> I need to be way at the, uh, I, I definitely need to be really high up there if I want to, if I want to make that. Oh, I messed up my timing. I was too focused on how high up I was going to be. Almost. Almost. What? Oh man. That is that is a narrow gap to navigate. I'm digging this music though. I don't remember if it's a different remix or not, but it's good either way, that's for sure. Okay, we've got another long room ahead. We've got all of these, like, visor sections. Um, wow. Is that the end of the seaside? So are these just, like, really short challenges? Honestly, if so, that's kind of appreciated. And it's kind of nice. Um, I was saying, actually, and let me know how you guys feel about starting another Let's Play and mixing it in with the remainder of Celeste, because I am loving this game and I'm enjoying it, but I don't want to get burnt out from it. I don't want to end the game on a more sour note than it really deserves. Um, all right, but regardless, <laughs> let's take a look at this room, right? So we're gonna have to jump on 
Well, let's see. Do I need to conserve my dash? I do. I need it when I land on this um, lower middle platform on the right side of it. I'm going to need it to dash over here, onto there, onto there. Huh. How am I going to get up there without a dash, though? Right? Unless... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. So if, let's start with this platform all the way on the left. <clears throat> so I jump on the left side of that. It's going to move down. I jump up and then land on the right side of it. Wall jump off of that onto this lower middle platform. Cling onto the left. It flies upwards. I use that momentum to go up and around the spikes. I fall on the right side of it. And then I was thinking I might have to use my dash there to get over, get through that little spike gap. But I think I actually need to use the momentum from flying upward and while wall jumping off to the right to get through there. Because then I land on this platform. And then I jump off of that before it goes downward to land on the one on the right. And then I see, okay, how do I get up there, right? I could wall cling. But I think I'm going to need to use a dash to land on the right side of this horizontally oriented platform. Which will then fling to the right. <clears throat> I'll land on this wall. Can take my breath for a second. Navigate this narrow spike gap. Land on this platform. Where... Ooh, that's going to be really tough. I feel like I'm going to have to use my dash, actually. Um, to dash straight up to get this little key. And then land back on the platform as it's moving to the right. And then once it's done doing so... Jumping and landing on... Oh, I wonder if that'll move. Where's that going to move to, though? I don't know where it's going to move to, but I've got to make my way to the right somehow. Huh. Even this last part. Look at that. This could be so tough, too. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see how that platform moves, but that's, that's my current understanding. So let's hope for the best. Hope you guys actually like that I kind of, I, I did use my jump. Oh, but I get it back. Duh. <laughs> I didn't even account for that. But I hope you guys that like, like that I do that. I don't know. I'd imagine some of you don't, some of you do. But especially in something where it's like blind and you have to like plan out these really intricate routes. I mean, this is the type of person I am, right? I plan ahead of time. I uh, try to understand my obstacles before trying to make my way through them, and um, I don't know. My apologies, I guess, if if you are bored by me trying to explain what I'm thinking. But at the very least, I mean, that also kind of helps put yourself in my shoes as I'm going through this blind and seeing, okay, what do I perceive as obstacles, and what do I perceive as, like, the challenges, and... Oh, almost. I was a little bit too late there. But I mean, if you just wanted to see reckless action or me kind of trial and erroring, or erroring, I guess, before I found it out, uh, it's not always going to happen, especially with these really challenging segments. Sometimes I like to uh, just kind of be like, oh, there are plenty of platforms and just kind of wing it and see what I can do. Um, it's always definitely has its place. But I feel like in levels like these, you really can't afford to do that. And so, it's pretty helpful to, uh, to plan. Okay. Darn, too late again. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh no! Okay, but it's good to see where that goes. Um, and to know that I will need to conserve my stamina there. Which I want to thank... Oh, I, I'm sorry, I don't have the top of... Or I don't have your name off the top of my head. But in the last episode, there was a commenter who commented about the mechanics of stamina drainage with wall clinging. So how wall jumping doesn't actually use stamina, but um, wall clinging is a one-time use, and then adjusting or you know actively climbing rather than just clinging is a continuous drainage um, which is really helpful because there there have been segments up until this point and I'm sure there will continue to be where I'm forced to consider oh I um, I need to optimize my my stamina usage right
Darn, I was not prepared for that. Huh, that's gonna be tough. How is how is the jumping momentum and everything gonna work at that part? But yeah, thank you for re revealing that mechanic. Obviously, it's it's something, you know, that kind of blurs the line between what's like a spoiler, right? I want to like figure things out for myself, but at the same time, I don't want to, um... Oh, almost. I don't want to be completely left in the dark. I know that there are some, like, mechanics of the game that I don't know about yet. Um that are necessary for certain challenges, but I have the feeling that the game will teach me those mechanics. Up, in, up until this point, they've done a pretty good job of like, oh, you don't need to know this mechanic yet, so we're not gonna teach you it, but as soon as it becomes necessary, they'll do so in a well-designed manner. So don't, I guess, teach me mechanics, like tricks for like speedrunning or whatever it may be, until um, you think it's like the appropriate time, I guess, or if I'm like supposed to have gotten it by then and don't. Um, all right, let's see here. Oh, <laughs> almost. <laughs> wow, that's, um, that's cruel game. That's cruel. Almost. I got careless. I should have just focused for a second and stopped talking. That's what I should have done. I will say, that is something always, uh, in the back of my head is, yes, I, I love doing Let's Plays, but there is no doubt in my mind that it makes doing certain games more difficult. <laughs> Whether it's Meat Boy or Celeste. Speaking of which, for those of you that are watching this and haven't seen much of my the rest of my channel, I mean, I, I'd imagine those of you that are watching this have already seen it. Um, but I did a Let's Play, a 106% completion of Super Meat Boy. And I'd imagine if you're enjoying this playthrough, you will like that one too. So go ahead and give it a go. I know, obviously... Many of you, there are many of you that started this Let's Play and are not currently watching. But to those of you, the the core, the core crew that is still watching, 20 plus episodes in on the seasides, you are very much appreciated. Oh, <laughs> really? What a way to die! But yeah, um, that's a thing. So so check that out on my channel. That also has some really intense platforming, and I. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Aw, oh, really? Darn it. I like didn't get the momentum I anticipated. This feels so much saltier now that I know I've gotten to the heart at the end. Oh no! Oh, okay. Alright. There we go. I want to get like as close to it as possible. Ooh, a yellow crystal heart. I love it. You, for those of you that don't know, yellow is my favorite color. Oh, there's no like title or anything. We just, we get the heart. But that's really cool. Um, like I said, yellow is my favorite color. Uh, so seeing that yellow crystal heart is, is awesome. But there we go. We completed the seaside for chapter one, the Forsaken City. Um, I appreciated that the challenge was definitely a bump up from everything else, yet it w didn't overstay its welcome. It wasn't an unending challenge for such a long period of time. It was like a succinct challenge that was definitely a difficulty up, but it, it didn't last too long, um, which was nice. So honestly, we probably have time to start the, the second chapters. But yeah, I just wanted to get close to the platform without activating it, and then jump up so I could you know cling high up on the platform so I don't have to run into those spikes. Um, let's see how Chapter 2's Seaside is looking. Oh my. I tried to dash straight up. But you gotta be... That timing has to be, like, impeccable, I'm sure. Oh, but then I need... Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hmm. What am I... Because I have to. I'm 
I'm so confused. If I don't dash... Hmm, I've got one idea. And that's... Basically, if I dash up and use that wall jump thing, will that still count as my uh, momentum? No. I don't know, guys. <coughs> Is there a way for me to... I don't know. Let's see here. What if I just, like, completely hold back? Oh! Interesting. Oh no, the Battlelands are here. That was really close. Oh no, and I used my, uh, my dash when I shouldn't have. Oh, I missed that. Oh. Alright, I should just, uh... No, I did it again, guys! <laughs> Why did I do it again? I can't use my dash in a way that's not going to, uh... Go through one of those things. So what I think was the mechanic there is that, um, huh, interesting. Oh, I, I know what I need to do. Why am I trying to do that in one, like, fell swoop? Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I need to remember that I can, like, jump after those, too. Well, I guess that sort of works. What was I going to say? Um, so if, I think if you dash through these, I mean, you can obviously jump right afterwards, but I think if you're holding R2 and like maybe back, like the opposite of the direction you were originally going, you can um, cling to them immediately after. Huh. Wow. Wow. Oh, so, okay. Holy cow, this is such a long room! But again, I appreciate that it's, this, the seasides are pretty short. Um, granted, they may take a while to do these, these second rooms. They teach you a mechanic, and then they're like, Alright, here you go, some massive trial. So what are we going to need to do here? I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to dash to the right through this first jelly, jump... And then get that, fall on the right side, dash to the left, jump, and then maybe grab onto this first jelly block if I am not that high. And if not, then I just fall and grab that key and then drift to the right so I can dash to the right through this, jump, fall under that block, dash up through it, and then to the right, and then I'm going to have to go to the right through the third one and then immediately up through that last one, and then immediately to the right before I hit that spike on the top of the ceiling, or on the top of the screen. And then I jump, maintaining my dash, fall there, dash across the key to hit that crystal, dash up immediately, and then up right immediately, then up immediately, and then right immediately, while holding R and back, so I cling onto that, fall, dash to the right, jump, over in between those spike pit, then dash to the right again, jump again, dash to the right again, jump again, and I think these are getting lower, no, they're not, okay. Um, dash to the right, dash to the right, jump onto that, and then wall jump off that to the left, and then I'm okay. Wow, okay, so I, I think I can at least perceive what the strategy needs to be though, which is, is good. Um, I feel like that's how the game should be designed, period. Uh, okay, so I can cling on to that, which will afford me a period of, well, 
time to recuperate a little bit. Darn it. Oh man. I, I think I'm trying to do that too early. Oh man, almost. Oh, what, I used my dash? I don't know when I used my dash, but uh, that's the idea, guys. Oh, really? I hit X! <laughs> I hit the jump button instead of the dash button. <laughs> Darn it. You know what? Oh, I was gonna say, I could probably skip that segment, but then I forgot that there was a key down there. They wouldn't be silly enough to allow such a skip at this point in the game with the seasides. This is like their, their peak level design. Oh man, almost. I needed to have dashed a little bit earlier to give myself a little bit of leeway when uh, letting gravity, you know, do its thing. Ah, oh, almost. I hit right instead of upright. That might be one of the... I think that's going to be one of the tougher parts, but... We'll see, I haven't experienced the rest of the level yet. Darn. I, like, want to just move fast. Honestly, I like that part of this level. There's just, like, a lot of dashing and kind of flying around pretty quickly. I also can afford to wait there, so I should. Darn, that time I waited a little bit too much. But yeah, I actually really like these, like, I don't know, we'll call it jelly dashing mechanic. This is what I meant by, like, the, the kind of, like, fast-paced dashing is my jam. That and wall jumping. Ah, almost. Those are my kind of like favorite uh, platforming mechanics. Dashes and wall jumps. Very basic, but very fun. What is that sound effect? Ah oh, man, too early. I got the crystal and I just dashed up immediately, but I'm uh, too far to the left at that point, so I get hit by those spikes. I'm so afraid of like being too slow that I think I'm like going too fast now. Okay, let's focus. Focus. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. Does the same thing again. That was, that was a close call. <laughs> I thought I was actually going to die there. So you might notice that, um, what's it called? I was not prepared to, like, continue holding to the right after I jumped out of that one jelly block before my death. Oh, no! That was it! I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready, but I had it. Dang, that's tough. 
That spacing is going to be really tight. So, I'm pretty sure I need to be, like, as far low as I can be when I jump. So, let's, let's, let's aim for that. <laughs> well, certainly was low. Ooh. And so part of it is also about the amount of, well, I guess, like, jump you give it at the end. That's going to be a tough part. Darn. Yeah, it's going to be really tough to uh, develop the muscle memory for how hard I should be hitting that jump button there. Oh no! I held on to the wall! I made it through the second one! I was like, ready to go. Um, darn it, but close. Okay, that was pretty promising. Wait, what? <sighs> really cool segment in my opinion, though. Well, it's pretty early to say that, isn't it? Oh, I think that's the first time I've died that way. It'd be kind of nice, in a very uh, Meat Boy fashion, if this game kept track of like all of your deaths and then showed you afterwards like, by the way, this is how you died a lot. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Guys! Oh man, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, I didn't think I made it, so I didn't react, and I didn't do the jump at the end of it. Oh man, I didn't think I made it. I was shocked at my own success. Oh. But I feel like that would have been it. I hit dash instead of jump. That was it. I hit dash instead of jump. <sighs> Let's go. Whew. Chapter 2 Seaside complete. Yellow Crystal Heart Obtained. Oh man, that was, that was a fun one. I really liked that level. I mean, you guys know me, right? Like I, at this point you guys like know my platforming preferences pretty well. And I'm a big fan of reliable, uh, you know, predictable levels with uh, intense, fast pace, dashing and, and wall jumping. And ooh man, that, that hit my, uh, my dashing fix quite well. So, that marks two seasides we've completed. We still have, obviously, chapter three up next. I don't think we quite have enough time for that in this episode, but in the next episode, we will take on the Celestial Resort's seaside. I really like that these are really intense challenges, but they're not too long. It's only like one room to maybe teach a new mechanic, get used to the difficulty again, and then one really big trial um, that really tests your skill and uh, yeah, it, it makes it really fun challenge that doesn't overstay its welcome. So I, I'm enjoying these quite a bit. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the planning process where I digest the room and see what needs to actually be done. And um, also all of my trial, I mean at this point if you're still watching and you made it through the B-sides and you made it through my crappy microphone episode, <laughs> I'm sure there's little that could deter you from watching the rest of the C-sides. But regardless, hope you guys are excited. But until next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>